All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Kal Halai and La, Obanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waka Kadash, Brakatai. Double honors to the apostles and elders who have taught us this truth for many, many years. Uh, this is your brother, Kabash Kabash, coming at you with another lesson. All right, now, who is this word? Well, let me ask this question. Um, which type of person is supposed to push out the word of the Lord? Okay, now you have a lot of woman ministers and, you know, it, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? First of all, a woman's place is in her home. All right, that's a woman's place. She's, she's supposed to be taking care of the home. All right, that's another subject to get into. Um, but let's go to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 21, starting at verse 3. It says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their God. So the church of the Most High is with men. Who are the ones performing the, uh, the rituals in the church? Who are the ones uh, performing the rituals in the church? When you go back in the Old Testament, it was the Levites. All right. But um, at the end of the day, um, you got to go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are the men. OK, those are the men who the Most High has his tabernacle with. OK, now let's go to the book of Amos, chapter three, verse seven. Surely the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets unto the prophets. So you don't only have to be OK. You can't just be a man in the tribe, okay, you have to be a prophet, okay, or a believer, okay, now, I'm just pushing out this because, you know, this deals with uh, 144, uh, that's another uh, subject, but uh, dealing with the prophets, man, okay, Daniel, Ezekiel, okay, Paul, all right, um, Moses, okay, the tabernacle of the Lord were with these prophets, man, okay, Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 34. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them, persecute them for from city to city. All right. Now, the Most High did say that, um, we, you know, some of us will be persecuted. Yahweh I did say that. All right. So it's going to take a man of faith just by reading this fat chap, this verse right here. You don't only, you can't just be a prophet, but you got to be a prophet of faith because the most I could send you somewhere where you could get persecuted, man. All right. And that's the thing we have to realize in this truth. It's not about just going to a comfortable setting and pushing out the word of the most high. No. So the Most High says he's going to send us places where we're going to be persecuted. All right. And you just got to man up and just take the persecution, man. Paul did it. Uh, Peter, um, Jonah eventually, you know, came into it. You know what I'm saying? Even though he got swallowed up by a fish. All right. Um, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 26, verse four. And thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord. If ye will not hearken to me to walk in my law, which I have set before you. Oh, let me see. Okay. I didn't finish that verse. Uh, I copied and pasted it, but I didn't uh, do the whole thing. Let's see. Jeremiah 26 and 4. Okay. Jeremiah 26 and 4. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord thy power, If ye will not hearken to me, to walk in my law, which I have set before you, to hearken to the words which my servants, the prophets, whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them by sending sending them, but ye have not hearkened, then I will make then I will make then will I make this house like show low and will make this city a curse to all the nations of the earth so the most high sends out his prophets before the most high is about to do something okay 
And remember, you have to be uh, from, from the 12 tribes of Israel. You have to be a man of faith and you have to have, you have to have faith. All right. And you got to have the, uh, the will to go out there and, 